Hey guys, Buffing Game Bad today bringing you a video, and today we finally have Insurgency Sandstorm available on consoles, and I'm going to show you guys basically how to get started, some tips, go through the settings, different tutorials you should run, and then I'll jump into some gameplay and show you guys just some different things here on controller. If you haven't played this on mouse and keyboard before over on PC, some things you want to get used to and tweak before you jump in and play. So jumping in right into it, first off, I'd say the first thing you want to do is jump into the settings. So the settings, obviously, you want to customize these a lot. Basically, I'm going to leave a lot of these things the way they are. However, you want to, you can do limited HUDs by showing the HUD. You can turn that on or off. You probably want to keep this on until you've mastered the game on consoles. Always show compass, things like that, different colors, however you want this stuff to be. And then you also can go down to controls, do your sensitivities, which you probably want to increase for controller. Your controller layouts, you can choose between a few different options here as well. And then you can see things like auto lean, manual bipod deploy. I, tip, I personally like to control when I'm doing those things, so I'm going to leave all those blank. Uh, dual zone sensitivity, aim down sight sensitivity, different zoomed optics sensitivity. Really you want to get into the gun range, which we'll show off here, and just play around with these different things. You can scroll down here, aim dampening strength, aim dampening radius scale, all of this is personal preference. I'm going to leave m the most of these things basically the same. The gamma, you can adjust this. Feel the view here on consoles. This is something that's nice to see on consoles. So basically you can bump this up to whatever you want. I'm going to go ahead, it's at 75 right now, I'm going to bump it up to 85 just to test that out. And again, you can just kind of customize this however you want based on your personal preference. Motion blur, I would keep that off if you want to see enemies. However, if you're doing co-op against AI bots, that definitely is something good to have on it. It just adds to the visual effects. Dismemberment here, it's going to be off by default, so you want to turn this on. This will allow you to blow off limbs, heads, things like that, have the gore enabled. And then if we go to audio here, by default, this is going to be speakers. You want to switch this to headphones if you do have a headset. Control your master volumes. Mute voice over radio beeps. Mute ear ringing, things like that you can adjust here as well. So we'll go ahead and back out. It'll ask you if you want to save everything. You'll say yes. Now the next thing you want to do is tutorial. So tutorials here, this is going to be the first thing to jump into as far as gameplay goes. So the basic training the range and the lessons. These are things I'll show you more of that in a second, but customization. This is a big thing in this game and it's really fun to go through this. So first off, you go to customization here at the main screen. You can select your gender, whether you want to be male or female. You can switch that on or off to, depending on which one you want to be. And then you can select your different character. So with the head, you can go through all of these different options and you just need to select them to preview them. So I can hit X on my PlayStation to show what those will look like. I'm going to go with Hevel here. And then we'll go back. You can do things like select the hair that you want on top of your head. Facial hair, you can see I'm gonna go with a nice tactical looking beard. Hair color. Then you can also do tattoos, which I have sleeves on, so that doesn't make sense. Voice, you can pick your voices here and preview them. And then we'll go out. Different headgear, you can see I'm running the two cool headsets. So this one, I actually had enough credits. Just from playing, you're gonna gain credits. So you can unlock different outfits here. The two cool headset, I got this in red, and again, you can see it's gonna be the Pelicor contacts along with the backwards red hat, so that looks pretty cool. You can jump through a lot of these. There's different uh, baseball cap like this, the different helmets on here too, like the M-I-C-H, things like that you can go with, and you should have a lot unlocked by default already. Here at the top, you can see these in yellow based on different uh, packs that were already available, and you can also purchase them with credits. Back out, you have face wear, so you can see you can do none. And then some of these, like I said, you're gonna have to pay credit. So you can have Balaclav open, you can have just your uh, neck gator, Balaclav closed, things like that. We're gonna stick with none just to show off those facial features. Eyewear, again, you can have combat glasses, aviators, th anything like that you can select and just pay the credits if you need to, or you can play and unlock credits to use in game to purchase these things. Torso, you have a bunch of different options for upper body torso you can see these will change so you can select which one you want same with the legs feet you can see here lightweight worn out standard issue will go with the worn out i'm kind of a fan of that equipment here on the equipment you can do your select your vest as well as your backpack you can do a light or a heavy backpack i'm going to go with the light backpack here in the tan color we'll back out and then the uniform camo this will just go along with basically 
what kind of uh, camouflage you want on your uniform. If you change up your uniform like me, you can see it's only going to select the uh, pants. However, it will affect your whole uniform at base if you don't change things up like I did. So you can go ahead and select all of those. You can see how they look and preview them. And then, like I said, you can unlock them there on the right hand side if you want via the credits that you have in game already. So we're going to stay with my M81 Woodland back out. And then you can also randomize there. Now jumping into loadouts here, you can see you need to level up to unlock the other roles. So you have Rifleman, Breacher, Advisor, Demolition, Marksman, Gunner, Observer, and Commander. So all these will unlock as you level up just by playing the game so you can see here i'm going on level two for breacher and again what you can do here is a rifle so you can see i have the g36c so how do you customize weapons basically you are the g36k or the curse for short so we can select your weapon which one you want i have the g36 and then the same as pc honestly this i really don't even notice a difference between the pc build after playing this you can select your optics all of these are based up based on points so you want to get in a local play i'll show that off and just play around with the point system. So you can see here, our one times red dot is gonna be one point, whereas something like a dual zoom optic is gonna be two, four times dual zoom, we have threes and fours. So all those points are gonna to go towards your total points that you can use. I'm gonna use underbarrel attachments. You can see I'm using three points towards the recoil grip. And then we'll go ahead and skip out on the barrel. Extended mags there is an option that I'm not using, or I am using, and then the laser sight also for two. So three total there. Tracer rounds would be free if you want to see where your rounds are going. And then for aesthetics here, these are options. You can see here weapon skin from the Twitch Tan weapon skin set, which is DLC option, which is I don't believe is going to be available yet here on console. So you can select your primaries. You can see everything there. You can add an upgrade. Secondaries, you can select your pistol. Again, but this is based on points, so I don't have any points left, so I don't have a pistol option here. And then your different tacticals are explosives for explosive one, twos, plate carriers. You can go light carrier or the heavy carrier. And then you can go light armor, heavy armor. Gas mask is going to be one point. You're definitely going to want a gas mask when enemy deploys gas. This is very useful. And then the combat knife is obviously free. So that's how you really go through and customize your character. You, you'll be able to see there in the bottom left-hand side how many points you have there right up, right next to my mouse and keyboard icon there or above the customization screen you see that little box with a zero next to it that's going to be how much points i have left so if i deselect an attachment like the recoil grip you can see over here or i'll just deselect that now i have one point to gain that i can use on something else so what i'll go back is i'll go back and add the red dot and now you can see i have zero points so that's how we'll do that inventory here you can see different different uh, items that you have in your inventory for customization for blueprints. And that's all the customization really to show off. And then, like I said, jumping into tutorials, the basic training tutorial is going to walk you through basically everything you would need to know as to how to play the game, how to pick up weapons, how to throw grenades, how to breach doors, how to engage targets, fire select options, toggle your laser sights on and off, how to hit fire, lean, all of that stuff will be covered in the basic training. It takes maybe about 10 minutes to get through the basic training. It's just going to go through all of the different aspects of the gameplay here. And again, this is a huge help. I cannot stress enough how important it is to play through this just because it's going to get you get your bearings, allow you to tweak your settings and kind of get you ready to play the game. And again, it's just a lot of fun to get in and try and experiment with some things here and movement, things like that and play around. So you'll be able to set uh, and capture different objectives, engage enemies, Call in gunship support, replenish your ammo, switch out your weapon ammunition, your different weapons, your class, I guess, for the most part, and uh, go through all of the basics that you need to know. So next up, you have the range, and the range is going to allow you to basically test anything you want, any weapon, any attachment, whether or not it's unlocked or not. You can spawn AI enemies, vehicles. AI helicopter to attack you and you can shoot them down with the various different weapons that you have available. So that's something I would really recommend. And then you also have, we'll jump into the range here in a second, but you also have lessons. So lessons here, if we just jump over to this, it's gonna go through, this is basically your quick how-to guide. So you can see here, it's gonna explain how to do everything. So you have movement and you can see that it's gonna give you the description how to move. You select stances, it'll show you your different stances and how to do them, sprinting and sliding leaning mechanics here in the game, vaulting mechanics, it'll go through this, sprinting and hitting X, stanima, 
how this is going to throw off your aim if you're tired and you'll obviously slow down it's going to throw you can see how it's going to affect your aim when you're adsing and then getting down to avoid explosives you can see how to plan objectives different weapon information again resupply this is all things you'll cover in basic training however this is kind of your quick how-to guide if you need to reference things fire support how to contact with the observer and call in fire support such as gunships artillery all of that and again you can see how that's being done here with visual examples which is very helpful then you also have vehicles right so how to enter and exit vehicles uh ducking in vehicles to avoid fire basic driving mechanics shooting while driving is something you can do there you can see that passenger as well as gunner mechanics here as well so you can go through basically every aspect of the game here for your quick reference guide for the lessons and now let's jump into the gun range really quick and we'll just take a look at some different mechanics that you can do here so as we jump in here as you can see this is going to load this is just going to allow us to spawn ai enemies to play around and what we'll do here is we'll just build up our kit quickly and i'll show off different gameplay mechanics as far as just how to select different sites lean reload things like that things that you may not see in the basic training it's not explained just a lot of things that'll carry over from pc so this is definitely things you're going to want to keep in mind so you can see here i'm just going to select i have a pre-built mark 17 mod zero the scar heavy so we have this with i'll just go through my attachments really quick in case you're curious so you can see here i am running i believe three points and you can see here you have as many points as you want so i run a four by one uh su 230 bus gonna run that bipod foregrip on there we're gonna run a compensator for that recoil control stay with the standard 20 round magazine of the 762 by 51 laser sight we'll put that pec 15 on the right hand side rail and then tracer rounds i have selected there as well and then you can see different aesthetics via the dlcs which i don't believe like i said i don't believe they're out yet um they will be coming then here on the right hand side you can see the different aesthetics or i guess stats for the weapon so you can see the aesthetics of your weapon but also here the stats so the caliber you can see is 762 by 51 nato you can see the recoil and the horizontal recoil all of that affected by your different attachments fire range penetration this is a big thing you can shoot through a lot of objects based on your caliber um shoot through walls things like that doors uh based on what your caliber is will penetrate these walls and kill enemies on the other side you can see your magazine capacity and your fire mode so you want to select all of that information and uh or just go through it you have your secondary here frags you can see i'm just selecting my plates gas mask all of that so we'll go ahead save loadout and spawn now here we are at the top basically what we can do first up to show off some mechanics here is i will just jump down hopefully not kill myself so you will take fall damage here which is something to note now hopefully i didn't make myself stuck so here we go We'll just go over to this wall so you guys can see and as you do this it's going to show different movements so i can i can sprint and slide but you can see i'm breathing heavy so i can't really sprint anymore right so i gotta let my stamina come back now i can sprint and, and i'll be able to slide when my stamina is back which my stamina is not really back right now so it's not really working too well but yeah, i can go prone crouch now while i'm aimed down sights you can see if i have a dual zoomed optic like this i can hit left on my uh d-pad to select whether i want the zoomed optic or the top mounted delta so here i can do that and select which optic i want as well as fire mode is going to be up so up i can go from full auto to single fire and then reload you're always going to have to manual manually reload so you will your magazine will run dry like this I'm out of ammo. I can try and keep firing. You need to manually reload. So you can either hit square for the standard reload like we just did, and you'll save that magazine, or quick reload is double hit square here on PlayStation, whatever your reload is on Xbox, and you'll just throw that mag out and you'll fast reload like that. So again, I can do that mid firefight too. Go like this. Okay, I'm going to do a standard reload now. You can see I'm going to hold that. And now if I want to fast reload here, I'll go ahead and reload that. Save you a little bit of time if you're in a pinch in a firefight, for sure. Now, leaning mechanics is your thumbsticks. So same with Rainbow Six Siege, on the left thumbstick or L3, you press that, you'll lean left, and then right, you'll go like that. So you can see how that's gonna be affected. And uh, it, although it can be a little bit glitchy 
here as well, depending. You can see it's swapping my optic, which I don't want it to do, but it's only on the right lean. I'm not sure why it's doing that. It's just one thing, probably a little bug that they'll sort out. Again, not a big deal. I can still swap in it out however I want. So that's how you would lean. And again, sliding. There we go, sliding now. Laser, you can see my laser is on here. So if I do uh, right on the D-pad, you can see, let's try and get it so you can see where the laser is. So there's my laser here. And then I can turn it off. It's right on the D-pad, like I said, off and on, just like that. And that'll be the only way you're gonna hip fire. You'll notice there's no crosshairs. So if I turn the laser on, I'll be able to see where my bullets are going, reload, good to go. Now here in the uh, gun range itself, like I said, all the weapons you can use, you have unlimited uh, slots to play around with. So if I wanna reload on ammo, I can basically just hold this and I'll full re refill. If I want to change the loadouts, I hit options or whatever it is on Xbox and you can customize your equipment, do it like that. You also have all of the weapons available in the game here to play around with at base if you wanna pick these up and shoot them, as well as you can interact with these computers, right? So these are ranged computers. So let's go back upstairs and we'll use it and we'll just spawn some enemies quickly just so you guys can see what an engagement would look like with this. So first off, range computer, hit triangle. And then you wanna select with the right thumbstick and then hit the fire button for whichever one you want. It took me a while to figure that out. So I'm gonna spawn an enemy squad here and we'll wait, here they come now. So if I come up here, Now we're just gonna engage, play around with the mechanics. You can see your my bipod is auto mounting there on those sides. Now the auto mount icon, or I guess option that we had in the options is mainly for machine guns bipod to deploy. So I'm out of ammo. I need to manually reload that magazine. You can see that and then try and get this guy in the head if we can. I should be able to pen through this. So if I put a couple rounds down range there, I should be able to get that. And you can see you heard him, you would have heard him yell and he died. So I got him. However, there's still more guys coming. Oh, okay. And then I got killed right there, but you'll respawn instantly, obviously here. And then, oh, so you can actually fold that bipod down like that. So that's a cool option that I just learned. So here it's down, so I won't be able to use my bipod if I'm here. However, if I, slot, if I lock it down, my bipod will already be deployed and I can use it. So. That's pretty cool. Again, you can spawn different things. So we can spawn enemy vehicles, helicopters, or reset the range as well. So now that I spawn an enemy vehicle, basically a technical truck will start rolling up here shortly and we'll be able to engage that. See if we can pen through that because we should be able to. Should have been able to get that guy. We'll keep it in single fire for these ranged engagements. Oh, he's still alive. Now he's dead. So those are just the basic engagements. And again, okay, so the enemy squad wasn't dead, which is why, which is why that happened. But now you can hear the truck is coming. So here comes the technical. It's just gonna be one guy in this case. He's gonna go ahead and get on that gun. Dead. So that's how you do that. And again, you can get downstairs and engage these guys close quarters if you really wanted to and select your different fire options. Like I said, select fire option for me on, and it should be the same with everyone, is gonna be up on the D-pad to select your fire option, whether you wanna go full auto or single fire. And then down on the D-pad, like I said, is gonna be that bipod, right? So we deployed it in, popped it out, really cool looking animation. Laser is gonna be right on the D-pad. And then one thing that's cool, your ammo counter is always not gonna be there. So if you hold square or you tap, yeah, if you hold square like that, it's gonna show your ammo counter. So you just, you just basically hold it quick, hold down square, and then you'll check your ammo and you can see whether your mag's full or not. So you can see there, now I'm halfway through, so I know, okay, let me reload, get back in the fight. And here you can also engage these targets here if you wanted to as well. So recoil in this game, definitely pretty heavy. So you wanna be cautious of how you're engaging and when you're going full auto. And now we'll back out of this. So that's basically a big thing there. I would get in and play around, get comfortable with different weapons and playing around. And then we'll jump in. One thing you can do is the customization or the uh, the local play is a really good way to jump into this game. So local play, you can select day or night. 
and you can select your map as well as the scenario that you want. So then you start that and again, you're just playing with an AI squad against AI bots and you can run through and get a feel for the game, different gameplay mechanics, tweak your settings, things like that. And, and in the gameplay, I had a lot of fun. I played one, one game all the way through on, uh, I believe it was the outskirt map. And again, just running through it with the G3 or, or the uh, G36K or the Kurtz and having a lot of fun with this thing, getting the feel for the mechanics here on controller. Like I said, I've played this on uh, PC quite a bit. So jumping into the console play is a lot of fun. I haven't played multiplayer yet. I'll be streaming this later tonight though. If you guys want to check it out here, I'll be streaming it on YouTube and we can play that together as well as some custom games probably for the local play against AI bots. It's just a lot of fun to play as a team and coordinate, but you can see here, in this brief gameplay I'll show from this scenario. Again, this is just a lot of fun to run through and you can really tweak your, your uh, settings as well as get used to the gameplay. There's gonna be a lot of situations you can fire through doors and objects to penetrate through those based on what caliber you're using and uh, get those kills. So you'll really, this will get you used to the gameplay, how you're gonna be playing it online against other players. And again, tips, you wanna move slowly this is very realistic, one, two shots to kill based on how many plays you have, one shot headshots, so you wanna be cautious. I would always recommend being in single fire as your select fire option, unless you're in close quarters and really need to go full auto. But for the most part, one or two bullets is gonna kill you, so you wanna make sure you're not going full auto unless you're right up in somebody's face, because the recoil um, will throw off your aim. It is very difficult, even on PC, it can be hard to, uh, control the recoil on some of the weapons here. So definitely keep that in mind. Again, by playing these local games, it'll allow you to uh, really get a feel for the game and uh, understand how you like to play, what weapons you like, what optics you like, and just understand the mechanics. Like I said, select firing, quick reload versus standard reload, all of that are options. You can also play around with uh, utilizing the observer to call in fire support like chopper support. And just, like I said, get a hang of the gore options. Where do we want to shoot enemies? It's a lot of fun. The game in general, again, like I said, I don't really notice any difference between PC. The game feels basically the same, and it, it's really cool. I think uh, the port itself is awesome. The game's a lot of fun just playing against some AI bots quickly and going into the customization options that we have. Uh, like I said, it's basically the same thing as PC. I don't notice really any difference. They did a great job with the port. The graphics look basically the same from what I can tell. There's no downgrade at all. Again, I'm, I'm here on PlayStation 5, so obviously it's still gonna look very good. Um, so if you're on PlayStation 4 or the Xbox One, let me know what those look like, um, if it's comparable to what you're seeing with the gameplay here on PlayStation 5. But it, it's, it should be relatively the same. The game in general on PC is not this high graphical, amazing looking game. It's it's. Um, it's very grounded and I don't think they do anything fancy like a AAA studio, but they do everything they do They do it really really well in the gameplay mechanics. This is a this is a great hardcore tactical shooter A lot of fun to play and like I said, we'll be streaming it tonight So I'm gonna leave you guys with that jump in check out the tutorials Customization tweak your settings and get in and play some local games and uh, get a feel for the game Let me know what you guys think down below Till next time, this is Buffer Gaming with Insurgency Sandstorm on consoles. The first things you want to do when you boot up the game, how to get used to it and acclimated to everything. Till next time, Buffer Gaming, out.